So, if we play our game. This looks boring, right? Let's fix that in today's episode. In today's episode, we are gonna add sound. Just like this. And also a way to control it. Let's get started. This is going to be a very short episode as I don't have much time to make episodes. From the next episode, we are going to start upgrades and shop. So let's get started with today's episode. So first of all, import assets, the part three assets. The link is in the description. Uh, first of all, import audio on off button, which looks like this audio button on and audio button off. Then in cookie, import this sound, click sound. Then import music for the background. Nice music. I don't know where I got it from, but it's nice. Anyway, let's get started. So first of all, we are going to add sound. So now put start sound here in cookie. So it will make this sound. Then go to backdrop when the green flag clicked forever. Play sound music until done. And now you see. This is already done, but we also need to control it. So to control it, first of all, go to audio on off and here when the green flag clicked hide as we don't want it when I start the game we want it in this screen right here and to do that when I receive start game go to X and Y the position you put here so let me see where it stands it is already here so copy these values if you want then put switch to costume audio button on or off doesn't matter because it will be automatically updated then put go to front layer and show also put Set size to 70% uh, because it looks good. Then we start scripting the forever loop. So forever, if else, touching mouse pointer. So first of all, we need to put the effect that we always do, which is the bouncy effect. So you can just go to cookie and grab it from there. Just drag this here and leave it. Now when you go here, you will see that you have this block. So in the top one, put 90 and put it here. Duplicate and put it in else and in the else value put 70. So now let's start it and see. So I have muted it for now so I can speak. So you can see this is looking good. Now we need to click it and mute it. So to do that, you can just put if mouse down, wait until not mouse down. Then put if touching mouse pointer now whatever you put here will be done when we click on it so instead of just changing the costume let's make a variable called audio on and with a question mark so is the audio on for all sprites click on ok and then it should check so if else if else then put an equal to operator if audio on is equal to one then set audio on to zero or else just set it to one now take this script out put an if else statement here and put the script back here below this new block and here put an equal to operator. If audio on is equal to 1, then switch to costume, audio on. In else, put switch to costume, audio button off. Now when we see it, play. You can see it is mute. Then we click on it, it is unmute. Then we click on it, it is mute again. You can see it is not very smooth. So now to make it smooth, one thing you can do is duplicate this block and put it below this and maybe put the size to 50 maybe so now when you play this is really smooth this looks really smooth now now to control audio with it you can just put go to cookie and put here when the green flag clicked forever put here an fl statement then an equal to operator audio on is equal to one if audio on is equal to one set volume to 100 and then else set volume to zero just drag the script and put it in background and just clean it up here as well. Now when you play the game, the audio will be controlled by the button. Let me turn on the volume and stop talking for a minute. You can see I clicked on it and it got muted. And when I click on it back, it will be on again. That works really well and if you add audio in other things like maybe in the in the falling cookies maybe or maybe in the counter you should just put this script in them like just drag it and it will be in that sprite and that is it for this video uh, wait for the next part as that will be about upgrades and shop and i'll see you there thank you for watching